and the stress and the financial um, implications. But it was the contractors who won't be receiving any back pay at all, who for these 35 days are completely out. And, but it's also all of us who utilize the agencies, whether it's the fishermen who were worried uh, whether or not there was going to be something printed in the Federal Register so that they could ensure that they were getting, be getting their permits to go out for this next, this next uh, fisheries. I mean, it's all of us that rely on our, our federal employees. So if there was any, it was if there was any silver lining to this, it was to understand that there's no good reason for a shutdown ever. But also, I think maybe we gained a little bit of an appreciation for the good work that our federal employees do for us. The work that they do is important, and we appreciate it. What's your message to Alaskans today? Well, the message today is I'm pleased that we've got the opportunity to address these issues of, of border security and to do so while our government is fully open and those who are serving our country as public employees are being compensated for that. But I know that these these men and women who have been working either without pay or who have been on furlough have gone through a lot. And they need to know how much we appreciate the work that they do. They are appreciated, they are respected, and I for one, as, as someone who represents our, our, our state and the federal government back here, I offer an apology to them, who, to those who have been impacted so directly by this shutdown. It should not have happened, and, and my goal is to make sure it doesn't happen to you again.